Good morning and you're very welcome to St Mary's Star of the Sea Leith for this our morning prayer on the 7th of September. Let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. During this time of the season of creation initiated by Pope Francis several years ago, we see here our world, Pope Francis calls that our common home, and we are but stewards of this place called our home. We pray not just during this season of creation, but throughout the year, that we will have a greater respect for all peoples and all the gift that the creation is. Today's Gospel speaks of the Beatitudes from the Gospel of St. Luke, a slightly and more direct version than the Beatitudes from the Gospel of St. Matthew. Jesus looked up at his disciples and said, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who hungry now, for you will be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude you, revile you and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy for surely your reward in heaven is great, for that is what their ancestors did to the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Sometimes we think it is strange when we hear those words, happy are you who are poor now, happy are you who are in sorrow, happy are you who mourn. But that word happy can sometimes be misinterpreted. And the happiness that Jesus speaks of in today's Gospel is not just something that's based on our senses and our emotions, but something that is deep, deep within us. And we pray this day for that great gift, to have that deep confidence in God's love for us. And today's Gospel invites us to really reflect and what it is we truly desire, what it is that truly makes us happy, gives us a sense of inner peace, inner balance. And I'd like also now just to read a short verse from one of the Psalms. And this little verse is from Psalm. 63. God, you are my God. I am seeking you. My soul is thirsting for you. My flesh is longing for you. A land parched, weary and waterless. Let's just take a moment to let those words sink deep into our hearts. Notice how you are feeling. Be aware for a moment of those parts of you that feel tired, worn out. Just take a moment to reflect on what you truly desire where you put your energy, where your treasure is, to be aware of your deep desires. Blessed are you who seek God in all things. Blessed are you 
You see God in all things and in all people. Let me take a moment also to pray for our world that is facing terrible crises of many kinds. The economic crisis in this land, other lands throughout the world. The very drastic increase in climate change. You see how that is affecting so many parts of our world so quickly. Let us pray now for a moment also for those who are not well. Pray for our own loved ones, those in difficulties. Let's just take another moment of silence to remember them, to bring them before the Lord. Not only them, but the whole planet, our beautiful gift from God, our common home. <clears throat> season of creation I'd like to finish our time together with this prayer called God of creation God of creation we come to you this season recognizing that you are the creator and we open our eyes to the beauty that fills the creatures the land the air and the water you are creator, not only of humankind, but of all that graces this planet and this universe. We pray together, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thank you, dear friends, for joining me this morning from St. Mary, Star of the Sea Leith. And we conclude our time together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God bless you and your loved ones.